Investor.com podcast. Good afternoon and welcome to another InvestorIdeas.com podcast, looking at cannabis news, stocks to watch, as well as insights from thought leaders and experts. Uh, today we're looking at announcements from Harvest One Cannabis Incorporated, trading on the TSX Venture as HVT, FSD Pharma Incorporated, trading on the CSD as HUGE, Namaste Technologies Incorporated, trading on the TSX Venture as N, POCML4 Incorporated, trading on the TS Venture as POCM, and Mad Men Enterprises Inc., trading on the CSE as MMEN, and OTCQB as MMNFF. First, we look at Harvest One Cannabis Incorporated, who announced that its wholly owned subsidiary, United Greeneries, has received a dealer's license pursuant to the Controlled Drugs and Substance Act under Health Canada. This license now allows UG to import narcotics into Canada, including its signature gel pell microgel CBD capsules that are produced in Switzerland and that are already sold as a nutritional supplement in the European Union and as a prescription drug in Australia. This dealer's license will also further allow the company to export its medical cannabis products to other markets with favorable medical marijuana regulations, including Germany. As well, the company will further engage in research and development of cannabis-infused products as a preparing a state-of-the-art product development center at its Duncan facility in British Columbia, planning to soon offer several value-added services to the industry, including a full quality control laboratory and co-packaging. Next, looking at FSD Pharma Incorporated, who has been added to the CSE 25 Composite Index, effective after the close on Friday, June 15th this year. The company met index entry requirements and bypassed the typical seasoning period for a new entrant due to its placement in the top quartile of the index. The company was pleased to see FSD recognized so quickly as a cream of the crop new entrant on the index. A little bit about FSD Pharma. They own, through their totally owned subsidiary FV Pharma Incorporated, a license to produce marijuana under the ACMPR which was originally granted on October 13th of 2017, headquartered at the former Kraft plant in Coburg, Ontario, approximately an hour's drive from Toronto. FSD Pharma's management mission is to transform the facility into the largest hydroponic indoor cannabis facility in the world. Next, looking at Namaste Technologies Incorporated, who announced that further to its January 18th, 2018 letter of intent that the company has signed a subscription agreement to acquire 10% of the issued share capital of Israeli licensed producer of medical cannabis, Canbit Limited, for 2.5 million shares or approximately $908,000 Canadian, which includes a combination of both cash and shares. Canbit has also signed a binding agreement to complete a merger with a company listed on the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange, whereby Canbit will retain 85% ownership of the combined public entity. Uh, This is expected to increase Canbit's value significantly higher than what Namaste acquired its 10% equity share for. In anticipation of closing this transaction, Namaste has established a supply arrangement with Canbit to export cannabis to the Canadian market, subject to approval by Health Canada and the Israeli government, and will also engage with Canbit to expand the company's Israeli-based vaporizer sale platform. Uh, Looking at POCML4 Incorporated, who announced that Metafarm Labs Incorporated has commenced the construction of its world-class extraction facility in Australia through its subsidiary Metafarm Labs Australia Limited. Metafarm has signed a binding letter agreement with POCML, which outlines the general terms and conditions pursuant to which POCML and Metafarm have agreed to complete a transaction which will result in a reverse takeover of POCML by the shareholders of Metafarm. Uh, For any further information regarding the transaction, please refer to the press release from May 15th this year, available at CDAR at CDAR.com. And finally, Looking at Mad Men Enterprises Incorporated, who announced today that the OTC Markets Group has approved the listing of the company's subordinate voting shares on the OTC QB venture under the ticker symbol MMNFF. Mad Men's subordinate voting shares began trading on the OTC QB at the opening of the market today. The company's subordinate voting shares continue to be listed on the Canadian Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol MMEN. Mad Men's subordinate voting shares are also eligible to be deposited into the Depository Trust Company, one of the world's largest securities depositories and electronic clearing and settlement service provider for its common shares trading under OTC. With our subordinate voting shares now trading on the OTC, U.S. investors can more easily access one of the leading cannabis companies in the country with assets in the top strategic markets, California, Nevada, and New York, said Adam Bierman, Mad Men's co-founder and chief executive. That's all for today's podcast. Podcast is now a certified word trademark on the blockchain through Cognate Incorporated CM certification. 
If you would like to be a guest or sponsor of this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment.